Microsoft's sense of humor is really something else. You all probably remember this neat little AI feature that Microsoft thought was a good idea to install on your PC. Microsoft Recall, the tool that should help you find information that you once looked at by making screenshots of your desktop, no matter what you're doing at the moment. But no worries, it's of course encrypted and safe from unauthorized access. So nothing can go wrong, right? Right? In today's video, we are going to talk about Microsoft, Windows 11, its AI future and why you might want to consider switching to Linux. Right, so I'm gonna be honest with you, this whole hype around artificial intelligence, especially when it comes to system integration, leaves me a bit worried. For starters, everything's just marketing. A lot of brands and companies that jumped on the AI hype train sell the same products they would have without this marketing name. Now okay, many solutions or products might have already used machine learning techniques beforehand, which is not really the same as today's large language models, but it's being marketed as such. Most vacuum robots, for example, don't really use AI, since they just measure a room and keep improving their map. You know, brute force it. But why am I even telling you this if this video is about Windows? Well, because here's the thing. While AI solutions like ChatGPT and Microsoft Copilot might be marketed as being intelligent, they are actually just large language models, which analyze and combine patterns that they gather from their huge repository of information. The most basic and almost insulting example of this are translators, which have been using similar technologies for a long time. Maybe not just as advanced as in recent years, but it's the same building blocks essentially. Not a problem with AI in general is that you somehow need to collect all this data and store it somewhere. And this is expensive, like really expensive. And it's one of the reasons on why I don't really trust AI solutions that want to integrate themselves into your system. Like Copilot is free. Of course, it currently only works on Copilot Plus PCs, which are a bit more expensive, but they don't nearly cover the cost of running this thing. Given that Microsoft already has the majority of PC users and software solutions, it begs the question on why they insist on it being free. Like they don't gather more Windows license sales because of that. They can, however, sell your data and later on also put Copilot behind a paywall that is being advertised to you all the time. And they kind of have to do something like that, given how expensive it is to run it. So if you have a program like Microsoft Recall, sure, it might be able to run locally on your system and your PC doesn't send the screenshots to Microsoft, but what it could send are some commonly searched queries. For example, if a lot of people in a similar area search for the same thing that they once accessed, then Recall could send the data to Microsoft, which they use to a improve the model and b they can sell to advertisers so that they can offer them personalized ads. Like, I just don't believe that Microsoft is developing a feature like this, gets a lot of backlash, delays it and also makes it optional, and then they come back and remove the option to entirely get rid of it. Like what? They want you to use it, and again, they already have the majority of PC users, so they have to generate revenue from somewhere. Like this is some tinfoil hat stuff, but they're pushing AI into Windows like there's no tomorrow, and I don't think that it gets better anytime soon. Windows 10 is end of life next year, Windows 11 gets all this controversial AI stuff, which they already had to limit due to security risks. And even if a Windows 12 is actually coming, it probably will be even worse in terms of privacy. I genuinely believe that switching to Linux might be your best bet here, since not only is it completely free to use, but it's also open source and therefore very modular. For example, if a bigger distribution like Ubuntu decides to integrate AI features like Windows has, someone can fork it and remove all that stuff again. But luckily we aren't even near that anyway. On Linux you can still have your own local user, which doesn't need an online account like on Windows, but you are still welcome to integrate your cloud solutions if you really want to. Linux distributions also come in many different flavors, represented by desktop environments. You want an interface that looks similar to Windows 10 by default? The desktop environments KDE Plasma and Cinnamon both offer a traditional taskbar and start menu. They are also much more customizable than Windows by design, which means that you can turn them into something completely different if you want to. Are you coming from a Mac or just want a simple and minimalistic design? Then check out the desktop environment GNOME, which by the way is also the default on Ubuntu. 
Then there are of course very lightweight desktop environments, especially suited for older PCs, yet still customizable, or you go for a customized hybrid of desktop environments like GNOME on Sorin OS. You simply pick a desktop environment that you find interesting, go to their official website and pick a distribution based on how fast you want to receive new updates. If you want to install software on Linux, then the preferred way is through a package manager, which usually comes in the form of a software store. In here you can download browsers, peripherals configuration software, communication apps and office suites. Gaming on Linux is also not that big of a problem anymore. Valve's compatibility layer Proton, but also different solutions based on the same tools can run Windows games and programs like app launchers, and nowadays even many anti-cheat protected games, if the developers are kind enough to enable support. Like I'm gonna be honest, for the use case of most people, Linux is more than enough. Sure, there are certain industries that cannot switch that easily. But compared to all global users of every age, this doesn't really matter, since support follows where the masses are. Like this is very subjective, but I feel like that Windows is actively becoming worse. It's an operating system that you paid for, either directly or indirectly, and you still receive ads and features that you might not want. You effectively pay to get less, while on Linux you are free to contribute to open source projects voluntarily. And these projects actually do the things that you want from them. Maybe Microsoft comes to their senses, but given the investment they already made into AI technology, I wouldn't really expect it anytime soon. I have been using Linux for more than two and a half years now, and I couldn't care less on what Microsoft does with their operating system. What I do care however is to show you that it doesn't have to be this way. And I really hope that some of you are ready to take the plunge into the Linux desktop experience. I believe that it would be interesting for you either way. But that's enough from me. What do you think of Microsoft Copilot and especially Recall being features that they so intensively push? Do you even care about them at all? Please let us know in the comments down below. Before I end this video, I quickly wanted to mention that if you want to support the channel and make even better videos, then please feel free to check out our membership program as well as our online shop, whereas each sale helps to support various open source projects. You also currently get a 10% discount if you get two items or more. If you've liked this video, then please make sure to show it with a like and also don't forget to subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss out on any future videos. Thank you so much for watching. And all that's left to say now is good morning, good afternoon or good evening, wherever you are, I'll see you around.